2004 Lexus SC430 blend door actuator and it has been searching for a while it's actually my fiance's mom's car anyway it's been searching for a while what it means is I'll show you in just a second but there's contact pad in here with some fingers and I'm pretty positive that the grease inside of here has mixed with the copper plating and once it does that it will jump power to different fingers so in each one of these little terminals is a different finger uh, minus two of them two of them are actually for the little motor that's in here it goes back and forth and um, long story short we're gonna tear it apart show you what's going on in here and hopefully how to fix it so give me just a moment let's tear it apart all you need is a flat screwdriver and you just need to be very careful. I'm gonna stick my fingernail in here. I'll open it up. It's only snapped together. So the clip right there. I put my fingernail, fingernail blue. I've got my fingernail in there, spread it apart, and I'm just undoing the clips all the way around it. Now we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna have that. And there it is. So we got the tone ring right here. And the fingers run throughout here. And these are the little fingers right here. So what happens is the grease will get bound up. All on here with some copper and it will basically jump contact on the fingers and it basically it shorts it out I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it or not so right here these fingers have grease in between them now it's a non dielectric grease so we got some here here and here but what happens is that copper will start to come loose on there like copper shavings pretty much and it just shorts it out and doesn't know what's going on here so we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and see if we can get it to work again I'm gonna wipe this grease off Alright, so got the grease cleaned off. Just using brake parts cleaner and Q tips. It works just fine. So, anyhow, I don't actually cannot find my non dielectric grease. So, we're just going to scrape some from over here that has not ever been used anyway. We're just going to apply it over here where it needs it. Because that's just how I work. That's just how I do. There's also some over here from the gears, it's the exact same grease. I'm gonna smear it on there. And all this does is let the contacts move back and forth freely without friction. But this, this grease is actually pretty clean compared to what I just cleaned off. So that's what I cleaned off. And it is pretty tainted, dirty. This is pretty clean compared to this. So this is just on plastic, the plastic gears here, and you know on the other side to do that get used. It actually only uses part of this. So and the rest of this a little bit of grease, I'm just going to put on the gears that where it should have come from anyway, where it used to be. Okay, here at the car. Here's the dash. Let's plug this thing in. Ooh. Look at there. Alright. Now it works. It wasn't moving at all earlier. And let's 
change modes. Hey, you got mode change. All right, look at that. Look at that, look at that. It works. Now, we've got to put it in there. <clears throat> Let's screw it in. But, I just gotta put it in there real quick and make sure that, you know, defrost is defrost, the floor is the floor, so on, so on. So, let's get that thing put in here real quick. And after I get to this part, or after I get this part done, I'll show you how I got to this actuator. And that lower actuator, I don't know if you can see it on the screen. This one here for temperature control on the passenger side. There's another actuator just like that on the driver's side for the temperature. I don't know what they are doing in the background behind me. I'm talking about grills for trucks and making a lot of noise. Tell you what, that uh, heater core hose right there is hot. I'm not gonna touch it twice. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of uh, noise here. I'm actually gonna move the camera so you can see the actuator actuating. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna just hold this thing. So the lower one right here is for the temperature. If I change the temperature. Change the temp uh, temperature. You see it move like it's supposed to. And then if I change the mode, right there, that is the dash. I mean the floor and the uh, defrost. 